When pain strikes, it can be relentless. That was the case for Jenny Kirk. Already having had successful knee replacement surgery years earlier, she started experiencing arthritic pain again. But for her, the source was difficult to isolate. It could have been the sciatic nerve. It could have been the lower back. Uh, it could have been the hip. So, for clarity and some relief, Jenny went back to Dr. Robert Ferentz of the DMC's Sinai Grace Hospital. Dr. Ferentz had performed Jenny's minimally invasive knee surgery, and she wouldn't go anywhere else. He took an x-ray, and he said, oh my gosh, it's really deteriorated, really bad. What was it that had deteriorated? The hip. So it, was, it definitely was the hip, is what was causing everything, and that's when he told me. He said, good news, bad news. The bad news was Jenny needed a total hip replacement. The good news, the method of replacement. It's a minimally invasive total hip replacement. It's called the anterior hip approach. It differs in the traditional hip replacement and also the other minimally invasive surgeries in that we detach no muscle whatsoever. It's that distinction that makes the anterior approach so innovative. So anterior means front. The majority of hip surgeons out there go through the side or the lateral approach or the back or the posterior approach. Anterior just simply means the front of the hip. It does allow a natural plane to be divided, but that also allows us to preserve those muscle attachments. It's, it's much more technically difficult than a traditional hip replacement. Much more technically difficult, certainly, but there is a big payoff in the recovery because the patient does not have any severed muscles to rehab as in traditional surgery. With a traditional approach, it's six months to a year. With the anterior hip approach, it's anywhere from three weeks to up to three months. So, what leads a patient to hip replacement surgery? The answer, arthritis. And now when arthritis starts, that cartilage, that blue cartilage starts to fray. And you start to see some areas where you will actually see fraying or actually start to see small fissures in the cartilage. And in a healthy hip, they glide and they have a natural free motion without any pain or problems whatsoever. Yeah, arthritis is a progressive disease and it'll get to the point where soon there will be no cartilage left on the hip and then you'll have bone grinding on bone and that will start, the patient will start to have severe symptoms. So at the time of a hip replacement what we do is we're going to remove move the ball and so we'll make a cut right about there, we take that out, we'll then take a metal stem and that will get press fit into the femur, we'll then take a ball and this ball can be either ceramic, metal, and this will go on to the end of the prosthesis to become the new femoral head. Dr. Ferentz, what would be the length of an incision in a traditional uh, hip replacement surgery compared with the length of the incision you're about to make? In a traditional hip replacement, the incision is from 8 to 12 inches. And in the incision here, you can see between 3 to 4 inches. Dr. Ferentz and his team worked to prepare Jenny's femur and acetabulum for the replacement parts that will ultimately relieve her pain. With skill and precision, Dr. Ferentz achieves his goal. This worked out well for you. Yes, the here we have. We have the stem that goes into the femur, and that's an excellent position. Here's the new cup, and that's the metallic ball. So the, the x-ray looks outstanding. Hi, Jenny. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. The relief provided by this anterior hip replacement procedure, along with the genuine care shown by Dr. Robert Ferentz, makes all the difference to patients like Jenny Kirk. I can't say enough about him. I mean, I, you know, I, I just think he's, he's great. He's so compassionate and he wants you to be out of pain. To find your way out of pain, visit us here at dmc.org. Learn more about minimally invasive surgery techniques or make an appointment with Dr. Robert Ferentz and his fine team here at Sinai Grace Hospital. Go to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.